I'm in lovely sunny Coventry today where I've come up to see Heidi, the young lady that has Down syndrome, who's recently launched a um, legal case to take the government to court over downright discrimination. Um, so I'm really excited to be here. I'm hoping that James is going to be here too. So not only can we talk about the um, upcoming court case, um, but we can also talk about the upcoming wedding. Um, so that's going to be really exciting. So see you there. Okay, Heidi. Hello, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me to Coventry. Oh, no problem. So I've come up to see you to find about, out about the um, court case. But before we talk about that, <laughs> tell me about yourself. Well, um, I'm Heidi, and I'm 24, and I have a hard dance in doing. And who have you got with you here today? Oh, this is, my, this is called James. Hi, James. Hi, yeah. <laughs> He's my fiance. I'm 26, I live in Weymouth and with, it's Chris, with Chris and Bryn. And how I met Heidi was love at first sight, really. Isn't it? <laughs> and we went to um, bowling and Frankie and Benny's. And yeah. the best bit was I beat, I beat her at bowling. Um, which I always do, you know. <laughs> Life's wonderful with Heidi. You know. <laughs> How long have you been together? Uh, um, two years. Two years. Two years. And we have been engaged for one year. So you asked Heidi, did you? Yeah. Where did you ask her? At her favourite restaurant, which is Playwrights in Coventry. Did you say yes straight away? <coughs> without any hesitation? Yeah. <laughs> she was speechless though, she didn't know what to say. Uh, <coughs> I was a bit like Mary Scott. Speechless! James, what do you think of your new mother-in-law to be? <laughs> I think she's wonderful. Liz was a, a lovely woman. Who, who she was, she is. Because she was um, important to me and in my life. Oh. And I thought that she would get on with my parents. <laughs> and she does. <laughs> She's lovely. Oh. Oh. And you're lovely too. Oh. She is such a wonderful person. Oh. Well, I never stop loving. So most importantly, right now... Oh, I'm fast up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, tell us about what's happening now, Heidi, in your life. Well, um, recently, um, on the 24th of February, I taken the government to court. Yeah. Because um, as a Dolores, I took a baby like Millie can be aborted up to twenty four weeks, but a baby like me and James can be aborted up to birth. So the case is purely and simply discrimination in the womb. Babies with Down syndrome can be aborted up to birth, which is complete discrimination. We just want to make this very clear that if on from your point of view, this isn't about a woman's choice, and this isn't about Termination debates. What is it about? It's about downright discrimination. I know it's not the subject yet, but um, one of the formats they're doing to waste comments. That was discrimination. Yeah, it is. How have you found support from the community and the wider community? How has been the support? I think it's been fantastic support because everyone has been. Um, so basically, um, what we had to do to waste the funds. For GDP Court, we had to open um, something uh, like a bank and thing called the College Justice Fund, and we broke in 20, we got 20,000 grand in the first week. 20,000 in the first week? Yes, and now we need wow. to raise 2,000 pounds. 50,000 you need to raise? Yes, and the case was sort of upon me and another lady called Sarah Burlesborough, and her son Hector has 1,000 there. Right, okay. And she was offered a termination of 38 weeks. 38? Yeah. Does that really upset you? Yeah. Yeah. So how would, you, how would you describe your life to a new parent? A parent that's just had a baby with Down syndrome, who may not have known beforehand. Um, my life is um, firm, vibrant and full. And I believe that the key to having a baby with Down syndrome is always believe in them. If you believe in them, they'll go far. So 24, 24 years ago, I nearly died. But then my mum believed in me. She never lived to me for anything. Um, I was born out of three children. 
and I've always been treated the same as, as, as all of them. So. I happen to have Down syndrome and that doesn't hold me back from doing anything, really. <laughs> After the last four years working for Heidi, what has she taught you the most? She's taught me to live life to the full, have fun every day, and love each other. <laughs> what are the biggest challenges you've faced having Down syndrome? Discrimination. What the uh, beardy lady said in The Greatest Show Me. This is me, take me as I am. <laughs> That's what Heidi quoted when she did... When I, no, no. Before I first met her. What would you say to a family who thought that they couldn't cope or they felt they didn't have the skills to raise a child, a baby with Down syndrome? Well, there is um, some sort of open down they they can have them to gain the skills and the confidence. And um, obviously, when they first have one, it's really hard to contend with, so you're going into the unknown. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's hard, but it's also great, great, great rewards. Yeah, there are lots of support groups out there, up and down the country, that women probably, or families probably don't know about. But I didn't know. Mm. Yeah, I don't think you do know. For example, so when, when I was born 24 years ago, my mum just looked at me and said, yes, she has it. Because mm. she had um, a dream, or a nightmare, <laughs> two weeks ago, <laughs> that I was born. Two weeks before you were born, yeah. And she was scared. My mum found it really hard to to come to terms with because they didn't know that I could do all this stuff. Mm. But then she learned to love, she learned to love me. She probably loved you from day one, didn't she? Who I couldn't? Hope, I hope so. <laughs> 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 My mum still loves me even though I'm a nightmare. <laughs> I agree with her. And your mum still loves you even though you're a nightmare and chat too much, don't we? <laughs> and we love you too, I think. <laughs> <laughs> my wife to be is l just lovely and bubbly and and ever since I have ever met her that I've never I can't say this now without crying um she's at she's extraordinarily lovely bubbly and Mummy, my best friend. Tell us um, about some real highlights, the voice that you've given all the other people that have Down syndrome. Uh, the, first, the first time I did this, I was thought I was doing well with the Dirt Speakers Out. But that was more about, the, um, about getting in from choice. Because at the moment, they are given um, out of date facts. Mm -hmm. And they never walk and never talk. If you know me, and never stop talking. <laughs> that is actually true. <laughs> um, so basically, um, my first one I spoke out was Andrew Westminster, in it, which was 16, on David Tennant's birthday. And where can we see this? Um, on Facebook. Mm -hmm. oh. What's next for you both? Get married and have sex. Sorry, honey. At the moment, yeah. it's the 4th of July, which is the Saturday, um, we get married at half eleven at at um, uh, where Heidi goes to have her um, girls, brigade. girls brigade, which is Queen's Road Baptist Church. Queen's Road Baptist Church, and at the moment we are sorting out where people are going to go, like, like tables and. And jars. And started the jam jars at, back at my house in Weymouth. Invitations. Yeah, invitations. Yeah, we're doing quite a lot. We're doing quite a lot this weekend. Thank you so much for letting me come to Coventry. Oh, um, no problem. And interview you're me always, and You're James. always welcome. Thank you. And you can come for dinner at any time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you're pretty, you are. I'm hoping that you might ask me back after July to update me on your wedding. And I can say my wedding ring. When you'll be a married couple. Yeah. I can say my new husband. Yeah. yeah. When you're husband and wife. Mm. Yeah. Is that a deal? Yeah. I can say my, I can say my wedding ring. Yes. Please carry on sharing and supporting the case if you can by donating. But please keep sharing and being positive about Down syndrome.